Thankfully, for the most part, the storm didn't affect much of Lansing, but some parts of the city were hit hard. Yeah, that is true. And Joe Khalil spoke to people whose homes and businesses were right in the path of that storm. And now all they can do is sort through what's left. It, it sounded like a train coming through. I seen it and it turned black and we seen it come through and he said, oh, crap. And he ran for the bathroom. Wanda Seller says she's lucky. She and her boyfriend survived the violent storm, but she can't say the same about her garage. 30 seconds. It was gone in 30 seconds. Now she and her boyfriend are left picking up the pieces. It was the garage. <laughs> there ain't nothing left. Just across the street from Seller's home, cleanup is underway at MPC Lumber. We're probably talking 40, 50, 60,000 bucks. We've got a 40 by 300 building with about 100 foot of roof left. Owner Mark Pickett says the storm hit almost every building in the lumber yard. The winds yesterday were so strong that this rail is all that's left of a 500 pound sliding door that Pickett says the wind blew completely off its hinges. They're nowhere to be found. PC has been family owned for 45 years. Pickett says this is by far the worst weather damage the business has experienced, but he's staying positive. We're going to miss a day's worth of business or two maybe, and we'll go from there. Pickett says he can always get a new roof. It's his workers he's thankful he didn't lose. In Lansing, Joe Khalil, 6 News.